Hey guys, welcome to your reading for the July Mercury retrograde. So we know in retrogrades, like, so many people start coming back. So let's see the general energy. Um, this will be um, for when you see it. Um, obviously, the retrograde doesn't last just a day. So this is for all signs when they see it. If it resonates with you, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So let's see here. Um, what we have coming back, what we have to deal with, we may find things are slowing down during the retrograde, a lot of healing going on, um, you know, looking back, reflecting at things here. So let's see, we're going to use the Akashic Tarot deck first. So here we are. My other camera's not working, so we're just going to do it this way today. Let's see. The one of forces here. The Akashic field. And this is about everybody, um, you know, being able to feel the energy and use this energy to your advantage here. This is the one of forces. So, yeah, we can all have access to um, the Akashic field and um, use this energy for ourselves. If you can feel the energy and maybe you can feel big changes coming with the um, retrograde here, you may be just picking up that energy during this time. And it's like picture like you know, a stream of lights in the sky there and that's connected to everybody and all this knowledge, like maybe you don't know something and another person does, well, we can all connect to that knowledge there. Um, so you may find yourself wanting to be more spiritually connected and find out more information during this time. You know, you may just take a step back from most things and um, the more spiritually awake you become, um, the less you want to be um, doing pointless things. You want to find out more information and seeking information and knowledge for yourself here. Three of forces now. This is the bird's nest. So you could be nesting here, um, staying at home. Three is the, um, you know, the Holy Trinity number there. Um, so you could just be wanting to stay at home and take care of business at home during this time. You know, take a slow down from the fast world pace and having to work, maybe even party. You may want to take a step back from this during this time. And like I say, reflect here. Um Put more time into things that you consider important. Maybe your friends always have you running around places and, you know, you're doing things for them. But now it's time to reflect and take a step back during the retrograde here. The scribe here. So, yeah, definitely you'll be finding yourself wanting to gather more information dur during this time. Um, you may be looking for answers here. So you may be looking, maybe you can't speak to a person directly, um, but, you know, the one of forces here, um, you can connect to them other ways, maybe telepathically. Um, you know, the connection is still there. So, you know, it being about communication. So we can find at this time people do want to communicate um, from your past or, you know, revisit situations that haven't completed. That's what the retrograde will be about for you. Maybe something coming full circle with the bird's nest here. Wedding. This situation involves a marriage. So let's get some more cards out here. One's dropped, let's see. Heart to heart conversations, just like I said. Um, you know, wanting to talk to somebody here. Maybe they don't want to talk to you, but can you see she's trying here? So you may be trying to reach out to somebody and maybe they're not um listening to you, maybe they've blocked you. Um I feel like this would be a very important relationship to you with the wedding card. It doesn't mean that you have to be married to this person, but it's trying to communicate with somebody um, that you consider very important to you. You hold this relationship connection in very high esteem here um, with the wedding card. 
you want to tell them how you feel or if this is not you wanting to tell somebody this is somebody t wanting to tell you here um so they're trying to gather information with the scribe here um, maybe you're writing things down. It's a good time to start writing things down, writing down your goals, meditating on them, visualizing what you want, you know, taking a step back from the world and just really focusing on what you want. And you can do this by writing it down here. You deserve love. You are lovable here. So... If you've been going through, stay optimistic there at the bottom of the deck. Um, if you've been going through, you know, um, trying to talk to somebody and they've been ignoring you or they've been blocking you here. Um, maybe you're now realizing like, look, I'm trying to fight for this, but you're not really taking any mind of me. You're not listening to me here. You know, maybe you feel pushed at this time. A lot of people feel pushed during the retrograde to contact people they have unfinished business with here. Here, we can see this lady is now alone here and very focused. Here we still, you still have the support of your angels here. Don't worry, you're still guided. It's like, even when we are pushed to, let's say, text somebody from our past and we we're like why the hell did i text them during the retrograde we can pick up that energy like trying to reach out to somebody and that's an indication of having unfinished business with that person there but i feel like you've you've learned this lesson and you understand your worth now so maybe you try to reach out one last time and they're still not interested or still not replying back here so i feel like this is you now redirecting your focus to yourself understanding i deserve better than this i deserve better than this i am lovable so maybe after trying to communicate or them trying to communicate with you the energy is going to be like no i deserve better than this this is what it's showing us here you know like having access to the akashic field here it's not like um i want to just say some random stuff i want to communicate very honestly i want to be very clear with you i want to let you know how i feel and that and maybe they're still not listening so you're redirecting your focus here the four of wands fell out so yeah this is about like could be starting fresh maybe you want to communicate look i i want to give this another chance or they want to communicate this with you with the four of wands it's like you know the four pillars here also another wedding card here um so it really is like it's like look at these two people they're both happy about this they both want this but somebody's not listening here so maybe you just want to go off and you know start this new beginning with yourself here like no i'm going to start from fresh this is me who i am now and it just really isn't working out for me like trying to talk to somebody who isn't listening because i deserve better than this so hopefully this retrograde will bring things full circle for you and close this cycle if you're trying to speak to somebody who's not speaking to you um could be a lot going on with your home life with the three of forces the bird's nest and the four of wands um could be a lot going on in your home life or just wanting to stay at home like i said earlier the king of wands now jumped out so this is this way around the right way around this is the vice versa deck um so again it's about like i'm not going to take any action anymore i put in as much as i can put in and i'm just really not feeling being the only one to do everything in this relationship i've put in as much as I should um you know I've tried to make the effort here I'm going to go on and keep bettering myself here I understand now I deserve love um maybe you're writing all this down or it's a diary or something like that that you're writing down with here maybe you're writing down what you have to say to them um but not taking any action um or because of their lack of action, you know, this is what's brought you 
like full circle like I'm not going to take any action I'm not going to try and communicate anymore I'm not going to try reach out anymore this is it really <laughs> so the knight of swords reversed here so it like I said you could have tried to speak to them like and it is this is a truthful card a lot of people feel like you know the knight of swords here is a negative card but it's not it's somebody speaking the truth so i feel like you want to speak your truth i feel like it may be a bit too soon um but either way here you have something to say and it's the truth but it may not come out nice um so maybe their lack of action here you're unhappy with I was going to say peed off with, but um, yeah, maybe their lack of action here has caused you to be like, I'm gone. And I'm just bolting out of here like the Knight of Swords there. Like I've put as much energy as I can into this. Now it's just, I've tried to talk to you. I've tried to clear things up. I wanted to be with you. Yeah. King of Cups now. So it's like, now you're not taking any action you don't want to you know try and convince them anymore you've said all you can with this knight of swords um it could have been reckless behavior trying to reach out to them um before you know the t the right timing for example divine timing here if you're trying to reach out while the divine is trying to keep you apart the divine's always going to win over so um, you reaching out could have caused more damage to the relationship or them reaching out because neither of you was ready yet. So I feel like there is love here. Um, but you've either going to give up saying it with the King of Cups, um, because the King of Cups doesn't want to be, um, you know, talking about his feelings. So you could be like, I'm done trying to explain this to you. I'm going to take no more action now. It's all on you to take this action. And what I mean by the Knight of Swords here being um, quite reckless because it's reversed. For example, like, um, you know, trying to rush divine timing. Um, doesn't get you anywhere. It puts more blocks in the way because you just keep getting the message that they don't want you because look it's like they don't want to talk to you so the only message that you're solid solidly receiving is that they're ignoring you so it can be um quite frustrating for some here um so you know trying to rush it in the beginning here could have been quite damaging but i feel like right now um, the positives here are that you understand you deserve better than this. You deserve better than being ignored and somebody not speaking to you, not telling you their feelings back here. It's not that there's no feelings. It's just like you deserve more than this. And you've got to come to the conclusion that, you know, you deserve love here. So I feel like you'll be making a fresh start. No, I usually don't like the King of Wands reversed. It could be that some somebody's acting stubborn and not talking to you, but overall I feel like you're refusing now to keep putting the effort in when they're not speaking up or replying or something here. Yeah, High Priestess. So, like, having this inner knowing here that this person could be your soulmate, could be your best friend, but they're ignoring you it's like listen i have access to the akashic field all this knowledge um i am not gonna no longer i know my worth now i'm trusting myself now that what's meant for me will always be for me it can't pass me by so i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep it moving on my own here this is like trusting and in the knowledge that what's meant for you will come to you at the right time 
but it seems like to get to that feeling, you had to be um, either ignored or blocked or something here. Somebody's reckless actions made you get to this point of, I'm trusting a higher force than myself at the moment here. I'm going to let the Empress on the bottom there, well, top, sorry, with the three, uh, four of cups and the judgment card here. So, yeah, oh, the eight of cups. So you could be like, I want this new beginning. If this person is going to pass me by, I'm going to leave it up to, you know, God now. I'm going to leave it up to the divine, whatever it is for you. It's like, I'm. you've made this judgment. Judgment's been made on this now. You've decided here. And the eight of cups there. Yeah, I still have all these cups full, but, um, you know, I'm going to walk away for my own self good here because I understand I deserve eight cups back of love. You know, I deserve ten cups back of love. So, yeah, for some of you. So we have the three of pentacles the right way around and the tower reverse. So it's rebuilding yourself here. Which is wonderful. I mean, we see the tower, we freak out, but this is rebuilding yourself, setting foundations, starting again here. Look at this. I mean, you see the tower and you may start thinking, oh, no, I don't want to, um, you know, go through a tower moment. But a tower moment is like life experience, learning wisdom. So here, you know. You're rebuilding yourself and starting again. You're working on yourself. You're getting this ball of energy here to put into yourself here. Understanding, okay, okay, if I'm on my own, I'll do it on my own. Because I know now that I don't need to rely on anybody else to even maybe make money here. I know that I can do this on my own. And you get strength after, you know, this tower has been. You're rebuilding here stronger. So, like I said, you could have been moving house, um, you know, just staying home and fix, fixing things rather than, um, you know, wanting to go out and party and things like that or something that drags you away from what you believe in now. Um, I see you not wanting to put any energy into this anymore. The energy is now focused on rebuilding yourself here. So that's wonderful. That's the tower. Yeah, look in the tower here. Can you see? These would usually be in the chariot. You're getting that, you know, forward movement here. Like, no, I'm going to rebuild myself bigger and better. So that's wonderful. And there, um, the four of pentacles is there. The Four of Swords, again, about taking time out um, and rebuilding, stabilizing. The Fours are about being stable. So, you know, slowing things down and um, getting yourself ready. So what wanted to jump out? <laughs> what story wanted to jump out here? OK, so we have the King of Swords there. Honest and justice there. Three of Wands. Um, this was this way around, sorry. Nine of Wands here. And the Six of Pentacles. So in the in this deck, the Six of Pentacles is somebody are uh, gaining confidence back that you, you know, are rising above, you know, these um, small, significant things. So maybe... You've learned not to react to every little tower moment here because he's looking over like a village here. So maybe, you know, you're feeling like you're regaining your confidence in this situation. So, yeah, I feel like you just feel fair and just with what's going on now. Like, OK, you know, I waited even while I was blocked maybe here. You know, I'm still open, though, for you to come back in, but you just have to understand my worth as I do. You know, like, this is like, I've been through the war here. I put up my fences. You know, I'm open to love. 
but I'm happy to wait for the right person to let the right person in now because I understand I deserve love. So it's like regaining your confidence here. Look how the King of Sword is standing like with so much um, power here, with so much respect. And, you know, this is self-respect, regaining that confidence and self-respect here. So that's wonderful. Like we've gone from the tower here and rebuilding ourselves. And look what you're rebuilding yourself into. You're doubling the effort and ending up with the six of pentacles. So it's like really focusing on yourself now and self-respect and self-worth here. And it shows as well with the three of wands and nine of wands here. Something is coming. Somebody is coming. But, you know, it's going to be up to each individual person. Do I let them in past my barrier? They've got to respect my barriers here because, you know, I've had this life experience. So, you know, am I going to let them in past my barrier here? I'm working on myself while I'm working on myself. Maybe you won't let anybody in while you're working on yourself. Maybe you're focused here on um, your spiritual growth because, you know, the threes are the Holy Trinity number there. So, you know, I feel like you're definitely working on this self-respect here and putting yourself first here, working on that. Um, so that's wonderful there, like that you're now working on yourself. Um, I feel like, you know, they're coming back here. I feel like you may, con you may be able to feel them with the one of forces having access to the Akashic field. You may be, be able to feel their return or when they're thinking of you. I mean, we all have the ability to do this. So it's not just any one person. Uh, if you meditate and things like that, then you will find that anybody can do this. This could be even shown with the King of Swords also that, you know, that higher knowledge here. Maybe you've been um, speaking with people who are maybe a little more spiritually advanced than you and um, or even like watching YouTube videos and getting more information like that and getting more clarity like that. So you seem to be gaining clarity and gaining confidence here working on yourself rebuilding yourself while maybe you're rebuilding yourself and waiting for this person so you know um but you are rebuilding yourself with confidence here and self-respect so that's wonderful so let's get some messages from your angels here These are the messages from your angels deck. So let's get some of these. And this is just a reading for all signs here. Roch hell. As you honour and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. And that also shows with the three of pentacles and the six of pentacles, what you've been working on, you're now going to see yourself rewarded for this. So that is absolutely wonderful. So yeah, if, you've, if you're the ones who've been working on yourself, um, definitely um, you're going to see this coming into you during this time. Too many dropped out, but just one first here. Celeste, a happy move to a new home or a place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive energy. <laughs> we said that at the very beginning about maybe you could be moving house with the or more focused on making your house more of a home um, with the four of wands there and the bird's nest card. So, yeah, I'm definitely trying to move home as well. Desiree, no condition, it says no, conditions aren't favourable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask angels to help guide and comfort you. So, you know, in the retrograde, we get this a lot. You'll see a lot of general reads come up saying your ex is coming back. We know, first of all, if your ex wants to come back during a retrograde, 
um, it'll be very short lived. So first of all, um, you don't want your ex to come back in a retrograde. You know, I mean, when you're at a certain point, you do feel like I want them to come back no matter what or when. But you don't want it in a retrograde. It's not the right time um, because anything that happens during the retrograde is basically like the night of wands. They may come in fast and it's very short lived and bittersweet and you end up like you feeling at square one. So right now, no, conditions are not favourable right now to be, if you asked, will my ex come back or, you know, things like that. Um, when we want to deal with unfinished business, um, you've got to really look at it from a healed perspective. OK. I will try and do um, another video um, to the one my ex didn't return in the retrograde, which is on my channel. Um, so I will try again and do an updated one. I have lots of juicy gossip for you guys. So watch out for that. Subscribe, like, hit the notification bell and you will be able to get that reading as soon as I've posted it here. These are the answers from your angels. So we have Don't Stop. And if you believe, so I feel like they're wonderful because let me just give you an example. I know I said you don't want your ex to come back in the retrograde here, but that doesn't mean you, can, you have to give up on people. No. It just means wait for divine timing. I know it can seem like forever, but you've got stuff to sort out. They've got stuff to sort out. So, you know, keep the faith in whatever it is you believe in. It could be a job. Just keep the faith, believe in yourself, believe you have the power to do this. Like with the high priestess, believe it's within you and don't stop. Don't give up here. OK, so guys, that was your reading for the Mercury retrograde. Just a general read. I will put one out for each of the signs too, guys. Good luck.